So we were creating a beautiful tree with the help of the modular tree free add-on and while adding the required charm branch to begin tree parameter nodes you say to yourself, what am I doing with my life? Sorry, I mean you tell something else to yourself. I know you do. You say, hmm, this looks great, but the trunk looks quite disgusting and not too realistic. Well, first of all, it's not realistic because while you get nice leaf textures, the modular tree add-on doesn't provide bark textures. Oh, on a side note, increase the branch tip radius on the tree, otherwise the end result will look weird and spiky. Also, keep in mind I was going for a tree with not too many leaves and visible branches, so the branch texture will be visible. Feel free to create different trees for your scenes. Back to the topic, let's download some bulk textures. The best place for this is cc0dextures.com, I will leave a link below. You can get a lot of different bulk textures you want to download the best one for your project. When it's done, you want to make sure you use the built-in node langer, which helps you with texturing. Enable it from the preferences, I probably say this in almost all of my videos, so sorry for the inconvenience to my long-time subscribers, but some things have to be said. Ok, so then just go into the shading tab, click on your material, click on the principal shader, press Ctrl Shift T and select your PPR textures, then it's done. But you say, how come my textures aren't that good yet? I mean your thumbnail looks different to this, you fake youtuber, you must be out of your mind. And then I just tell you, yep is different because here's the great trick this only works in cycles go to feature set and set it to experimental and now go back on that tree trunk and add a subdivision modifier this modifier is modified now there is now an adaptive option enable this then go back to the render tab and under the new subdivision tab set it up like this the point of this is that we have an adaptive subdivision mode enabled which subdivides the trunk according to where your camera is at the maximum of uh, 12 subdivision levels. The closer the geometry is to the camera, the more detailed the subdivision will be, but it's enough to subdivide it to match 4 pixels on the screen with details as we wouldn't really notice a difference between this and 1 pixel on the final picture, but it would use a lot more RAM like that. We need to enable the secret power of the PPR texture and know that you have the detailed geometry, it's time to enable real displacement. Go into the materials tab, get settings, turn this to displacement from up only. Tone this down or it will get spiky because the displacement will be too strong. 0.1 or less will be enough. I realized after a test render for this particular texture 0.06 was better. Render out your image from a cool looking angle, go into the compositing tab, add a glare node, change to flow glow, and this will add the bloom. Fiddle with the color management if you want, and that's it for the bulk texture. I hope you like this, check out my deviant or turn on notifications for new tutorials, donate on Patreon or CGTrader if you want, see you guys.